Hi, in this video, we're going to talk about the table mode under the oscillator section in RetroSynth. Now, table refers to wave table synthesis. So instead of having an oscillator or virtualized oscillator that's actually producing these tones, wavetable synthesis actually refers to a bank of wavetables, which are snapshots of the transient part of recorded signals. Just to give you an idea what those sound like. So for example, if I go to the wavetable menu here, these are a bunch of wavetables that are built into RetroSynth in Logic Pro. Um, let's say I choose something simple such as vowels. So we've got some vowels here. Let's play that. Now, when you have a wavetable selected, the dials actually choose from a bank of digi waves within that wavetable. So within each of these, all of these sort of hundreds of options here, each refer to a different digi wave within the wavetable. So here, Notice how it's kind of changing the formant spectrums, kind of like if you were singing a note and you were sort of like opening and closing your mouth, uh, you're sort of opening and closing formants in your performance. Formants are kind of the passages within our sort of vocal system that resonate at certain frequencies that kind of make up our voice, to give you a real life example. <laughs> Cool, let's try a different wavetable. Uh, what else do we have here? Let's try something more synthy, more analog. So retro square saw. So imagine you took a sample out of the analog part of retro synth and you used it, repurposed it into a wavetable. This is this might be what it sounds like. Okay, so you got access to kind of different sounds just from those digi waves there. Great. Now let's talk about the modulation uh, that's available to us in, in wavetable mode. So here we've got an option between modulating the shape and uh, modulating the formance of the sound. So if we go back to vowels, so let's do vowels vocoder this time or rather vowels great if we go to shape mode and use the lfo so i'm going to bring the lfo intensity up a little bit there and turn this to the left a bit okay and i'm going to slow that down that's the equivalent, obviously, of me changing the dial as I was doing before. But if we choose formant instead, it actually compresses or it lengthens and shrinks down the formant spectrum of the sound. So some very interesting sounds available to you when you do that. Let's change the LFO a bit. Slow it down. and apply some vibrato. Uh, 
as you can hear, you can quite quickly get some to some very sort of weird and clinical sounds. Very good for sort of like really, really abstract music. Great for creating atmospheres and pads and, and what have you. So let's try some other stuff. Some really good ones, uh, ones that I like. In fact, the default one is actually quite good. If we do default and change that, put the modulation at zero. And of course, you can just enter zero there. We've still got the vibrato going. Okay. See, that's the sound I quite like is when it's cycling through the wavetable. So to modulate that happening, I can just choose LFO on shape mode. And then just turn that down. Right, that's the vibrato. Great. For further reading, I suggest you look into the history of wavetable synthesis and how it came about because it's very interesting stuff. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.